Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on inverse function rule. Inverse function rule, it's kind of confusing in that um, it's easy, yet it's confusing. The inverse of derivative of inverse is equal to 1 over the function itself evaluated at a. Now, this is the confusing part. This a and b is not the same number in that f of a is equal to b. Okay, so the trick is evaluating 1 over derivative of original function. That's not hard. It's evaluating when they give you a number here for the inverse function derivative, you can't, cannot plug this b back into the a. Okay, so let's take a look at this particular problem, keeping that in mind. Part a, we were supposed to find g of x. g of x is equal to, that's the inverse function, so it's 1 over a function derivative, which happened to be 3x squared plus 12x plus 14. Okay, so that's the easy part. We were given that f of x is cubed plus 6x squared plus 14x minus 6. So that's a pretty easy one to find derivative from. Now the second equation, a second question they ask, if f of 1 equal to 15, then what's g of 15? Well, since they're inverse function in that f inverse of function is equal to g of x. And then, of course, g of 15 inverse function should equal to 1. Okay. Now the last part is the confusing part. They're asking g prime of 15 is. You can't put this 15 into the x. That's what the whole problem is. This one is actually equal to 1 over f prime of a, where a is equal to 1, because f of 1 is equal to 15. This is the 15 that's here, and the 1 needs to go in here. So, so once again, g of g prime of 15, even though g prime of x looks like this, but this x here does not go in there. This x is different from this x. That's the confusing part. Once we have this one settled, then it's 1 over 3x squared plus 12x plus 14, but then x is equal to 1. Once again, the reason x is equal to 1 is we got to evaluate it at what point of x such that g is equal to 15. Okay. Once we have this one figured out, this is pretty easy. 3 plus 12 plus 14. I don't make any errors here. This is 15, so it's 29 on the bottom. And top is 1. So g prime of 15 here is actually equal to 1 over 29. Well, that's how we solve this type of problem. Hope it's clear. Please leave a comment on YouTube and let me know if it's helpful to you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. For more math answers, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a confident day.